Hey YouTubers, so honestly guys, I released a video on, I guess, Sunday of last week, uh, it should have been about a week old, uh, maybe Saturday, yeah, it was actually Saturday, so it's a little bit more than a week old when this video actually goes up, but I just wanted to kind of get y'all's opinions on this particular subject. Um, to clarify, I actually got into a, a bit of a discussion with someone who was actually watching the video, uh, on a, a Ramona Williams, who insisted that I was actually wrong when I kind of indicated that yes the Super Dragon Balls had shown off powers greater than that of the Namekian and Earth Dragon Balls. Uh, that conversation was never really uh, figured out. I mean honestly we never really came to a conclusion so it's the meaning of this video of whether or not like I'm right or you know whatever or not like who who's right in this situation. So uh, yeah so one of the things I said in that video about what the Super Dragon Balls were going to be used for in the Tournament of Power for whoever gets to use the wish uh, basically one of the points I made was you know we haven't necessarily seen the Super Dragon Balls do anything that the normal Dragon Balls couldn't do or something that we haven't been able to see. Like, honestly, something that the other normal Dragon Balls just really just couldn't do or were said to actually be capable of doing, regardless of whether we saw it in any canonized form of Dragon Ball other than just the movies or anything like that. So, you know, we've seen the Super Dragon Balls be used to bring back the Earth of Universe 6, and we've seen them be used to create, uh, you know, an immortality-like state with Zamasu and also switch the bodies between Zamasu and uh, Goku in order to create black. So one of the things that uh, we were discussing in the little conversation that we had was, yes, uh, one of the things I insisted on was there was no indication or real verification that the Earthlings of Universe 6 had actually been taken place or actually kind of been revived. And Ramona Williams was saying that no, actually, that was actually stated in the manga. And apparently one very specific line in episode 41. So I do retract that. If, if it has been said in the anime, then I retract that. If they are alive in the anime, then that's fine. It doesn't necessarily negate the point that I said in the video that uh, you know, the guys in Universe 7 could basically go live on that Earth and basically tie in or weave together the storylines from the Shampa arc into this particular storyline as well. If so happens that, you know, Universe 6 wins the tournament, there's not a huge deal uh, considering the power of the Super Dragon Balls. But getting into the idea that, like, whether or not the Dragon Balls on Earth or Namek could actually do the things that we've seen the Super Dragon Balls do this by now because while it was said in the early days of Dragon Ball Z that you know they can't necessarily do anything beyond that of the creator of the Dragon Balls and also uh, you know when they wanted to kill Vegeta and Nappa uh, because Kami couldn't do it the super the the immortal dragon couldn't do it as well and also the the dragon can't bring back a ton of people after a year with no real indication and one of the biggest misconceptions in the fandom is that bringing back anyone it can bring back individuals but not like a mass group of people so if that is true if the namekian dragon balls can't do that because we've only heard restrictions at least in my opinion we've only heard restrictions on that when it comes to the earth dragon balls which were shown to be far weaker or had different restrictions than that of the namekian dragon balls uh so if it was said somewhere and basically i'm asking you guys was it said somewhere uh that the Namekian Dragon Balls couldn't bring back masses of people outside of a year, or was that necessarily never stated and it's still speculative as to whether or not they can do that? But also, is it possible for the Super Dragon Balls to give immortality when it's not necessarily possible for that of the Earth Dragon Balls or the Namekian Dragon Balls to give immortality? Because if you remember, that was one of the big things leading up from most of the, like the first half of Dragon Ball uh, Z actually was, you know, Vegeta and Nappa wanting immortality so they can fight Frieza and then obviously Frieza goes to Namek so he can wish for immortality and we only ever really got to see it when Zamasu wished for immortality using the Super Dragon Balls but it does beg the question why does Zamasu use it in order to uh, get immortality from the Super Dragon Balls when it might have been easier just to go to Namek and wish for immortality with those Dragon Balls uh, you know there's far less looking around there's far less, uh, you know, it's just easier. Zuno would have known about those as well. And is there some kind of limitation that we don't necessarily know of? And wouldn't that be kind of a funny little interesting little point to make? You know, one of the things they were searching for throughout the entirety of 
the first series, you know, like the second series, whatever you put Dragon Ball Z in, uh, you have these characters looking for something that the dragon wouldn't have been able to grant them anyway. And it is interesting because if the Earth Dragon Balls and theoretically the Namekian Dragon Balls are only kind of, uh, you know, their only potential or limit is that of what their creators could not, could do and couldn't possibly do. Uh, you know, Kami was immortal. Like he lived a long time, but he was immortal. Uh, none of the Namekians are more immortals. But Zarama, or Zalama, whatever you want to call him, could potentially be immortal and could poss possibly be able to grant the the gift of immortality and the other dragon balls really can't and the only real indication we have to whether or not that's true or whether or not it was part of anyone's particular plan is piccolo daimao using the dragon balls to wish back for his health and then just instantly killing uh shenlong shenron whatever you want to call him and it begged it, that actually helps me beg the question like why not keep him alive gather him up the other day and then wish for immortality because obviously he didn't want to be old why waste that opportunity if you weren't ever going if you didn't want to actually be immortal unless he actually knew given he was part of the the entity that actually created them in the first place if he knew that that kind of a wish was impossible but it does beg the question uh why did why didn't kami or anyone basically tell them like yeah like don't worry about it like that wish would have been impossible not that dragon ball z is an airtight story obviously if they've just decided that those dragon balls earthling and namekian can't give immortality at this point that's fine um and they didn't necessarily think of it beforehand but I'm asking you guys right now in the comment section below, do you think that the Earthling or Namekian Dragon Balls can give immortality? Or, if there, or and you know, more specifically, is there any kind of limitations that were said that I'm missing here, uh, you know, outside of the Earthling limitations that we've seen, but not necessarily the Namekian Dragon Balls, which they, they, the only limitation I remember them saying was that they can't bring back more than one person at a time, but that was actually changed after the whole Frieza thing and everything, they they decided that it was it was in their best interest to basically up the power there and give let them bring back masses of people at the same time. So I mean, it's really up in the air as to what these Dragon Balls are capable of versus what they aren't capable of. And I want to hear everyone's opinions and thoughts about this in the comment section below. So with that, guys, uh, I'll probably come back to this basic discussion topic with you know not only looking at your guys's uh, comments in the comment section but also with another youtuber if i can find someone uh in the next coming weeks who is willing to discuss this with me and discuss all the intricate details about this clues and everything else uh, in a more formalized manner if you guys want to hear that but anyway with that please make sure to rate comment and subscribe uh, like always, thank you so much for watching this. Please share it out to all your friends for their opinions and everything like that because I am genuinely interested in hearing the conclusion of this particular topic. Is it actually possible for the Dragon Balls to be used uh, to wish for immortality other than the Super Dragon Balls? Because we haven't seen any indication that's actually quote-unquote canon besides Garlic Jr. And he wasn't canon. So anyway, guys, with that, please make sure to go down in the comment section below.